How's it going? Very well. Yeah? Yeah. Are you excited? Fun. Are you excited for me? Huh? Well, I gotta mention this. All right? This is fun for me. All right. All right? Andy, last night was a really big night for me, and uh, I'm gonna tell the folks at home about it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, last night was the opening night of my cabaret act. That's right, my cabaret act. Uh, I did a cabaret act uh, right here at the top of Rockefeller Center. There's like a cabaret room. In the Rainbow Room, yeah. Yeah, it's called Rainbow and Stars, and I, I did kind of a, my cabaret act, which I've always dreamed of doing. And here's the poster for it right here. I'm really proud of this baby. Look at that right there. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? It was the opening night. It was just... So exciting for me. It, it's opening night. You've had that poster for like two weeks. There's already review quotes. <laughs> yeah, I put those in there. Yeah. That gets people to come to the show. And I figured later on when I get real reviews, I'll put those, I'll put those in right there. All right. I thought this was, it was an exciting night. It was really, uh, I mean, it was just a dream fulfilled for me. And I don't know, you were there. What did you think? Tell them. Well, I, I appreciate uh, how much effort you put into it um but you know you're awful busy on this show and i just worry that you maybe you're spreading yourself a little too thin what are you talking about andy everyone knows i'm a consummate showman i mean i can pull this off come on what are you talking about it was a great great cabaret night well yeah i, I mean it, it, i guess it was a good beginning you know a well i thought place. the show went really well in fact i got some clips you people want to see some clips of this show <laughs> Thank you, because I, I knew that this was going to be something that all America wanted to see. I mean, first of all, I thought the show started really strong. Listen to this, folks. I did a 10-minute condensed version of The Wizard of Oz right at the top of the show. Nobody in show business has ever done that. A two-hour movie. I did the whole thing, whole plot from the very beginning to like, man, I think I'm out 10 minutes. And I thought that was great. What did you... Well, nobody's ever done it, and may maybe for good reason. Oh, Andy, you're being, you're being a wet blanket here. I'm Let sorry. the people I judge for themselves. I Take a look at this. You're going to be blown away. Where's Auntie M? <laughs> well, I say go that way. <laughs> oh, I'm scared, I tell you. I'm scared. <laughs> Sick. I don't have a heart. <laughs> okay, the crowd wasn't eating it up, but what? Great! It was well, great. Well, like for two minutes, you barked playing Toto. Yeah. You just barked at the audience. Woo, woo, woo. People love that. All right. All right. What about you? You gotta love this. My 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 touching tribute to the great Jackie Robinson. I mean. People seem to eat that up. They loved it. How was anything you did there a, a tribute to Jackie Robinson? What are you talking Last about? Night. I didn't... Ha I okay, so I didn't have a lot of time to do research. I didn't know much about the man, but uh -huh. still I thought what I, I think I really captured the essence of, of, of a great baseball legend. Take a look at this. You're going to love it. You just don't know a lot about baseball. I guess that's why you I, felt I, left I, out. I, yeah, I guess. I, I guess that's why. Yeah. I mean, I, I just thought that was some random man-child bit, you know? I, I had no, no idea. No. That... No. All right. I did the man-child bit later. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was some serious baseball stuff. What about when I had uh, the heart-to-heart -heart talk with the crowd, and I really opened up my soul to them? I mean... I had those people in the palm of my hand talking about a real crisis in my life. People were crying. Take a look. I felt uncomfortable. I felt naked. It seemed to me as if she didn't even care. I asked for one little thing, and she brought me nothing. So I said to her, this is the gap. You have 34, 36 jeans back there. You turn around, you go back there, and you get them. A few minutes went by. She came back 
with the jeans. <laughs> Button fly. <laughs> a flare at the bottom. Not too much flare. A bootleg. I've, there are people crying here now. I, I, don't, I don't know uh, if, if anyone was crying last night. I mean, there were a lot of sort of elderly people in the audience and they have moist eyes, you know, uh, but I Andy, don't... Andy, you're just being a, a wet blanket about the whole thing. You gotta admit, you gotta give me a high five for my down and dirty rock and roll number. I mean, that was electrifying. That lit that crowd up. You gotta admit, take a look. It just blew them away. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> Is that the lady that's suing you? That, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no. I, but, I, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I, no, no, no. I just, I mean, I, I feel bad because I, I thought uh, the cabaret thing was, it was, it was a big success. Was there anything at all that, that you liked? Um, well, yeah, I did like the uh, one part. The, really? The next, the Let's show us. Coming up. Yeah. I wasn't going to show that part, actually. Yeah, I know, but... It's the one part I, I was going to leave out. I mean, you had such a rack on you. Yeah, well... <laughs> Man! Oh, you! <laughs> well, I... And I... When you debuted that new character... My piece de resistance. That was fantastic. What are you talking about? People never get to see that whole new side of me right there. They've never seen that before. Well, you know, maybe you should have kept it to yourself. <laughs> I am just a man. And I am just a robot. I like to dance like this. And I like to moonwalk. pretty good you know I, I spent uh, four hours getting into the makeup for that and the crowd was nice enough to wait which I thought was nice <laughs> and if I could have moonwalked I think it all would have been worth yeah. it yeah yeah well they waited because you chained the fire doors before you you can get through those chains uh, I, I mean I, I I'm sorry because I like I said I appreciate the effort you put into the show but there there was the finale I, I gotta tell you, what, what I, that, did, what didn't I did not like that. What didn't you like about the finale? The finale was just fun. It was just goofing around. It was just lighthearted. It, well, it didn't work for me. I, I have no idea why. Folks, take a look. There is one man who I truly need at my side to make me complete. I don't know what I'd do without him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Andy Richter. <laughs> mad last night but now yeah, i mean that was dead on that is that, that was such a that perfect, is how you talk night after I'm night stupid i say that all and the time. your catchphrase is i have to poop myself <laughs> night after night people in the street are always saying when's he gonna stop uh, saying yeah. that 
I guess I'm just too oh, touchy. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad there's no hard feelings. No, and was... All right. Well, I'll give up the cabaret I'm act. I'm stupid. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. I didn't research it well enough. I put the whole act together in half an hour. So anyway, I'll, I'll hang it up. I'll just stick to this. Well, and then right. maybe not this anymore either. We're going to take a break, folks. When we come back, our good pal Norm McDonald's going to be here. He'll show us. Thank <laughs> you.